crowd him if he wants to. On it, fair, throw down to third, is in time! What an athletic play by Brandon Inge. That was a whale of a play right there. Not a good throw by Pudge. I mean, he gets out there, but this is, look at Brandon, look at the athleticism. I mean, trying to find the bag, trying to find his footing, and somehow puts the tag on Knicks. What athleticism. That is one whale of a play. Thank you very much. Lifted in the air to right field. On the move is Hidalgo. Still going back to the wall. That ball is gone. It carries out for Brandon Ainge. An opposite field home run. And the Tigers have tied it. That's already been three balls hit very, very deep uh, here at Comerica Park tonight. Hit hard, and look at that stop at third by Ange. He goes and gets him. It don't get no better than that. Oh, my goodness, he took a double away. Sparkling play by Brandon Ange. One step and a dive. As many as the big boys have hit balls out that way that have not found that ivy. It is lifted in the air. Third base side foul ground. Will it stay in play? Inge leans in and makes the play. Nicely done by Brandon Inge. Two gone. Boy, it's nothing like getting home. Brandon knows exactly where he is. He's able to reach down and feel where the railing is and able to make the play in. Nice job by the fans down there, not getting in his way. No, uh, the young man had his glove up, but he was uh, in foul territory. Wasn't leaning over. Wasn't leaning. Oh, and with a great catch. Double play. Spearing the line drive on his backhand side. And Hunter doubled off at first. Little looper down the left field line. Diving for in. I was just about to say he hasn't played a whole lot of outfield. He can't be used to that position. And look what he does. If this ball gets past him, it's dangerous because you've got Posednik running. But Brandon is just fearless out there. And he is just good. Broke his bat. Shallow in the left. Inge diving again. He made another play. Oh, oh, oh. He's a human. Show tonight. Let me tell you something, folks. This is not that easy. The man has not been out there all year long. This must be some new Buddy Bale kind of strategy. High fly ball, slicing away from the right fielder long. He's coming to foul ground to make the catch. Tagging and coming home is Monroe. The throw not in time. Both runners move up. Sack fly, RBI. That is hit toward left. It is down a base hit. Two runs will score. Pudge is in. Monroe is in. It's a double. Two RBIs for Brandon Inge. Take a look at where this pitch is on the inside part of the plate. We're going to freeze it here for you. That ball's inside, but it's not all bad to get jammed when you've got two strikes on you. That ball's on the label, gets enough of it to fight it off into the outfield, and he gets rewarded with a couple of ribbies. Fought that one off, loops it into right. This ball will drop. It's a base hit. Logan on his way to third. They're going to send him home. Long bottles the ball in right. The throw not in time. Wow. If he's not the fastest man in baseball, I don't know who is. He was trying.
behind the Deke Logan as he was going to catch it, and the ball had some spinning action on it and got past him, and that was all Sam Well needed to send him home. Watch him go. Here's another gear. And De Jesus, he drops down a butt, charging his inch on the bare hand. Got him! Making a strong push for a uh, player of the game. Look at the slow mo action there. Him getting that ball in the palm of his hand and then get Ground ball hit toward third. Diving stoppage to his feet. Throws him out. What a play by Brandon Inge. He took another hit away from Alex Rios. Sprawling out to his left. That's range, too. It ain't like that was one step in a dive. That's about four steps in a dive. The pitch that he threw to uh, Veritek was not a bad pitch, but Veritek was sitting on the breaking ball and got it and didn't miss it. That is a diving stop at third by end. Guts to first in time. Look at that play by Brandon. Man, oh man, does he have some great feet down there at third base. Terrific play. Well, the great Ron Santo, Chicago Cubs announcer, said one step of the dive at third base is usually what you need, and that's exactly what Brandon did. There's a shot. Look at the play by Ange on the diving stab. Beautiful play by the Tiger third baseman for out number two. Ah, uh, Robin has no problem. Can't like reflexes. We know that. Off his feet quick. And he's got a tremendous throwing arm. Drops down and gets it there right on the money. Two pitch. Another busted bat loop to short and a diving play by In. Did he catch that ball? Wow. Brandon In sprawling out, making a diving play. Great concentration. To close. What concentration here by Brandon? Great play by Inge to close out this game. Six three double play. And that's a shot. Oh, what a play by Brandon Inge. Wow. No way. That ball was by him. Look at that. That's just a, uh, an old lay if I've ever seen one. Tough hop. Really tough. He stayed with it nicely. Look at that. He wasn't even looking at it. But, you know, when you're a, a good fielder, and you're playing at the hot corner. You took a you took a little stab at it. You know exactly where that ball could go, and Rogers appreciated it. There's a ground ball to third. Fair. Inge throws to second one. Here comes the relay. That is a double play. What a turn. Wow. Inge to Polanco to Shelton. It doesn't get better than this. Two-two pitch. Ground ball again to third. They're going to come home. In just throw. Dunn is out. That home plate. Wilson sidestepped and Dunn tried to bowl him over, and he's gone. It's a nice athletic play by Brandon. Watch him here. He grabs it on the hop, throws off balance, off the left foot, and he gives Vance enough time to turn his body away from contact and still get the out while holding onto the ball with two hands. You want to hold it with two hands at contact to make sure he doesn't jar that ball out of your glove. Back a third, backhanded by Inge, and the throw to first is dug out by Shelton. The one hopper over there. Nice play by Inge to retire the Rays. That is a fair ball, diving stop Inge. Here's the throw. He's out. Oh, what a play by Brandon. It literally doesn't get better than this. Ground ball hit toward third. Another diving stop by Inge. He'll come up throwing. And another terrific play by the Tigers' third baseman. He has literally been 
a human highlight film over at third base. I mean, he looks like Brooks Robinson over there. That's hit hard to third. Look at that play by in. Oh, my goodness. Night after night after night, he turns in a play like that, it seems. Well, Brandon knows that the uh, the guy on the other side, Joe Creedy, that does a marvelous job at third base. And a lot of people are talking about Creedy uh, winning a gold glove this year. But Brandon in just picking and grinning and has been doing it all season long. This is a spectacular play. Four of the Twins. Chop the third. Leaping inch. Guns. Got him. Oh, what an arm. Lee Dunn. One, two, three for Zach Miner on a fine play by Inge. He leaps and he guns him out. The 0 1 pitch. Oh, that's built into the air. High and deep to left. It's got enough and it's gone. A home run. There's your bunt, Rod. High fly ball. There goes Inge again. This is going to be a tough play. And Inge makes a terrific play. With his back to the infield, again, he shows off his range. That was unbelievable. He is probably the only third baseman in the league that could make this play, and the fans are appreciating it. That's hit to third. Nice play by Inge. What a play by Brandon Inge. He caught it, though. I thought, anyway. It looked like he caught it, but the third base umpire didn't make any signal that I saw. Gary Darling. He did not make a signal. So Inge just threw it anyway. Well, that's what you're taught to do, is make sure you complete the play. But I could have swore he caught it in the air. I think you're right. His hand-eye coordination is outstanding. That's flared foul ground. Going to be a tough play. Inge with the play. With Santiago sliding right underneath him. What a play by Brandon Inge. Gian, but Inge knows that Gian's not going to be close to catching this ball. A nice job by Santiago sliding, although he did cut Brandon Inge down. But the concentration here is incredible. And we've seen Brandon make this play time and time again. Incredible range at that third base position. Time. Little chopper hit toward third inch on the charge. Nice short hot play. Got it. Very well at that position. His feet never stop. And he always makes a split second decision whether he can come in and get a ball or whether he could stay back. In this case, he felt like he had to come get the short hop. Very light rain at the moment. The 2 1 pitch swinging a fly ball right field deep. Bloomquist going back at the fence. He leaps. It's off the fence. And it kicks back toward right field. Brandon Inge around second. Oh, and they are run. calling in a home run. It got just above the line in right. At the top of the wall. The second opposite field home run of the day by a Tigers right-handed batter. And it makes it 4-2 here in the eighth. It's hit the other way. Fair inside the bag. Tough play for Inge. Long throw. He got him. You got to be kidding me. With Brian Roberts running down the line, Inge makes a spectacular play. Wow. Swung on and belted. High in the air. Deep in the left. New hand going back to the wall. Grand slam. Brandon Inge. With his 24th home run of the year. And it's a slam.
And there's a shot. Look at the play by Inge. Great reflex action there by Brandon Inge. Yeah, that's as good a play as you're going to see from a drawn-in third baseman. That ball was smoked by Pesednik. That ball rip. Look at the pick right there by Inge. Made it look like a little bowl of cherries and another double play on a beautiful pick by the Tiger third baseman. Well, Brandon Edge, we've talked about what a good athlete he is. Brandon Edge hits one down the left field line. It might have a chance, and it is gone. A home run just inside the fair pole for Brandon Edge. That ball driven into deep left center field. On the run is Kotze, and it bangs off the wall. On his way to second and inch with a run scoring double. And the Tigers now lead 4 nothing. Opportunity to go somewhere else and play a different position. He was happy. Off the end of the bat, it'll fall in front of Bradley. The third hit of the night for Brandon Inge. Played a game in the 40s since April. Popped up in the foul ground. Inge. What a play by Brandon Inge. Watch this. He, hit. he doesn't even care that there's a wall in his way. He's going for the ball. Total concentration. A little snow cone. Ball almost pops out of there. Maybe the fan helped him keep the ball in his glove. Well, he got lucky that the fan kept him on the field because if you catch that ball on the field and go into the stands, the base runner advances the base.